Hi guys, this video is about building our ISOs. At Arcalix B, that's the website to build. The B stands for building, build your own ISO with what every single desktop has this video how to build your personal ISO of each one of these desktops. I'm gonna build the Arcalix B Hyperland and replace this particular uh, article well this video that we're making will be the last one it will also give you what's coming so we kind of uh, sneak peek preview the first of January 2024 is just two weeks from now you can build any of the ISOs that are here any of the ISOs that are here right I just need to choose one and that what you do is, is always the same thing you grab the code and you'll see that we can also now install any of our ISOs with system D boot which is something different um, maybe let's see maybe I still have a picture somewhere this one right that's system D boot it's done with coloring It's done with nice design it's just black and you choose the kernel so that's what we can have beginning of well now <laughs> now if you build it if you follow this video on your Arcalix system you just say let's grab the code better put it on the desktop for example and there you say git clone it's already there so click that's it that's all you need to do with any of the other ISOs you just do the same it's just another URL and you install it as simple as that anybody can build an ISO and then you don't have to wait two weeks you have the ISO that will, will be released in two weeks time okay now often we include in this video if you want to have something else on the ISO and that's why it's build your own ISO you can say and go over the all the applications and if you have been on Arcalix or Archlinux or any Archlinux based system you can tend to know the applications by now even by name right you do want Vivaldi that's it go change it and it's just one application per line you can't do it like this that's not done right just one and then you just keep on adding and adding it's not safe so and it's already running so he'll will not check it again but basically that's it get rid of things with um, a hashtag and add it if you delete the hashtag as long as it's on the Archlinux repo or the Arclinx repo I would end it I would um, put it at the end and say I want to have Firefox it definitely is already there but you end you, you add stuff in here at the back end right so you can keep comparing and you put this particular setup on your own github somewhere safe and from time to time you compare with the one from Arclix and you say okay they've added this okay why well, um, no I will not add, add it or yes I will add it it's just up to you that's the point and the strong uh, selling point if people know it of course the selling point is build your own ISO on the basis of ours but get rid of the things you don't like put the things in you do like and applies to all 40 ish and uh, 30 plus ISOs anything build it locally you your ISO your personal one you want LibreOffice okay put it on there right the ISO will be bigger so what it's your ISO you decide what you put on there so in the meantime he is building all its th stuff there and you know the drill when you build something it ends in well first of all where should it build is building in here and here is the outs folder so he'll put it in there and that's how we work so let's wait till it finishes because before I forget to tell you there is something else we have put in place and that's the packages personal repo as well so if you want to add something from my Arcalix nemesis well 
no my nemesis repo right then you can just by adding these guys so Control t if you say i do like this or this or that right Should you watch out with the ones with this one xfc system and scale that's a no-go because it will conflict but all the others the, another grub theme maybe or and lots of grub themes that have created at some point in time this will conflict as well and here's another grub theme flame shot maybe left wm will conflict with left wm of course but the icons are no problem so if you add want to add something that's fine next thing also documented on the website is the folder personal if you want to have something on the system on your future system put anything in here everything anything you want like configurations applications and it will end in the slash personal folder and from there you copy paste or you launch your scripts or, or launch your uh, package install your packages and sudo pack not minus you and you just run it so that's another tip and it's also explained in many videos after clean install you type the alias personal into your terminal and all settings will move to your home directory so the idea was theme xfce theme bspwm have your own configs there and basically whoop, everything gets copy pasted over just a copy paste of whatever is in there to your home directory that was the idea so theming twins and arising and all that a new new fetch another yay configuration whatever you like right and it's going on to your home directory so that's another way of doing things and then you don't have to package your settings you just copy paste over it's easy Control c Control v in an alias all right let's stop the video here well let's pause the video here and let's check there it is it's finished so the b out is where everything resides this is hyperlint so we can't really show it in virtual machines you have to install it on real metal but the procedure is always the same with each of the 40 isos and you can be at this point in time a beta tester so if you want to try it out build our isos change some things and then you have the preview the sneak preview right now <laughs> the release of the isos with that we are going to release in two weeks or you wait another week and it's gonna go on aag and then you can test it out as well all right cheers